All right, so let's jump right in into our subject. So the first thing you should understand before you create your Telegram bots is that what our Telegram bots are and how to interact with your Telegram API to build your and implement your bot server. The most important thing is our Telegram in fact, that's our Telegram API, because we should communicate with this Telegram API in order to build clear communication with your user. So this is our Telegram API. This is directly part of our Telegram server. This is special dedicated server of Telegram that will serve all updates and messages from user and just redirect these messages and updates to our server. So using our Agram library, we're creating our boot server. This will be implemented using our Agram library. This is Agram library. This is our boot. This boot will communicate with Telegram API. And also, here's some kind of user. It's our user that will send messages to our boot or just send some kind of events to our boats. This can be callback queries. As you know, a little bit later, callback queries is a special queries that our Telegram API will generate once user click inline button. Inline button is a special button which our inline keyboard markup consists of. You don't have to worry about it right now. I'm just telling you the key thing you should understand at this moment that there are two main parts of our communication. To be more precise, three main parts. First part is client that will communicate with our Telegram API that is represented by some kind of account bot. Bot account. This bot account is created in Bodefather. Bodefather is just a special dedicated bot that you are going to use to control your boat account that you will create in your Telegram API that will help you to implement and build communication with your user. So our Telegram API is just intermediary between your boat server that you will write using Python and particularly based on Agram library. Agram library is just a synchronous web framework that will let you create your boat server using Python language to communicate with your Telegram API. And this Telegram API will communicate with your user that will send messages to your boat, boat account that you created in boat father. And these messages will be redirected to your boat server in your boat server that you are writing using Agram library based in Python language will process these updates process these messages and build and form some kind of response. And this communication is directly based on HTTP protocol, HTTPS protocol. So that's the key thing you should understand right now. The most vital thing is that our Telegram API is just intermediary between our client. Let's just communicate with our Python, with our Python web application. Communication is based on HTTP protocol and our API and Python web telegram boat is communicating by, by exchanging updates and, and responses that will our Agram library build. So to use our telegram API, we should be authorized and authenticated. How to build this authentication process? The matter is that this authentication process is already built in function. So we don't have to explicitly implement this authentication process. We just need to take special authorization token API that we get from both father. And this token we're going to use to connect to connect to our API, Telegram API. We are connecting to this API using our token. So the token is just some kind of key to our Telegram API and to our specific Telegram boat that we get from our boat father. So in result, we have the following thing. We have our boat account that we created in our Telegram API. And our Telegram API, this is our Telegram API. This is just intermediary. To connect our boat, we should have special key. This special key is, in most cases, this is special authorization token. 
we're going to call this token API. This is a long string that will contain all the necessary information to connect our boat. We use this token API in our Python library, in our Python application, to connect our boat by provided Telegram API functionality. We're going to exchange updates and responses with this API, and our user will communicate with our boat. All messages and events that occur in our boat and our user trigger will be translated into updates to our Python Agram library. After this, our Agram library will process these updates and generate result. This result is just HTTP response that will be returned and sent to our Telegram API. And that's all possible by provided token API and built-in functionality of Telegram API and Telegram as well. So we don't have to worry about all these things. This all works under the hood. All right, so let's get started to build our first basic Agram boat. All right, so I just put away my microphone a little bit and I hope the sound is fine. So don't worry about this thing that you see right now. I want to show you a different thing. I want to show you how to build your basic Agron boat from scratch. So the first thing you should do is just create a new project. That's pretty simple. You can create this project inside your Visual Studio Code. I'm using the Visual Studio Code. So how do I do this? I'm inside Python projects library. Here I'm creating new library that will be focused on creating our Agron boat. All right, so the first thing you should do is just create a new folder. This folder is dedicated for creating for our Agrum library. I will call this like Agrum, for example, boat. This will be for a lesson. After this, you should navigate to this folder. Just change directory. You pass tab after this and press enter. Once you're inside this folder, you just need to make here a virtual environment. How to do this virtual environment and why should we create this? We gotta create our virtual environment in order to isolate our project environment and all dependencies in our project because there might be some kind of conflicts between different versions of, of our dependencies from one project and another project. So to isolate these dependencies and encapsulate our project, we just should activate and use virtual environments. That's a very important thing. To do the basic virtual environment, I hope you already installed Python, you just need to type python-m, that will tell our Python interpreter to, to invoke our module. Our module is called Venn because this is a special library for creating virtual environments. And we just need to give a name for our virtual environment. My name is virtual environment van. It told us that we don't have this kind of comment. This happens because on Mac OS we don't have Python, we have Python 3. That's created our virtual environment here. And if we type here and press ls, we see here a special folder that's called van. That is just reference to our virtual environment in our project. This folder will contain all necessary dependencies that we're going to use in our Agrum project. So after this, we should activate this environment and open our Visual Studio code here. Open our text editor here. If you are using, like me, Visual Studio code, you just need to type here code and dot and you're gonna open your Visual Studio Code with your project open. Here you just can open terminal. You can open your terminal using quotation mark and control. And here you just need to activate your virtual environment. To activate your virtual environment, you need to write here source venv bin activate. Activate your environment. Once you activated your environment, you see venv in these brackets. Now, you just need to install all necessary dependencies and libraries that we are going to use in our libraries. Our dependencies is, first of all, pip install agram. That's the main library we're gonna use during implementing our boot server. Alright, so we installed our packages. All necessary packages have been installed. And after this, you can just clear your terminal and create the main 
file. The main file, I'm going to call this file, for example, main.py. This is going to be our entry point to our boat. In this video, I'm going to build the simplest boat so as you can understand the basic process of messages and updates from Telegram API. As I've already told you, we should obtain some kind of token from Telegram API to connect to our boat. In order to obtain your token API, you should open your Telegram, open boat father, here you see boat father, and just create here a boat. That's pretty simple because you just can type here a common new boat. Specify some kind of name, description, photo profile photo, and other information as you like and prefer. After this, you're gonna receive special token API that will indicate to your chat ID. This is a chat ID and this is a chat identifier. And this is a special string. You don't have to worry about this thing. We just need to copy this string and paste it here. Once you paste this thing, you just need to import all necessary dependencies and libraries and modules from your agram. I'm going to import here types, dispatcher class that will process and track all updates from Telegram API. And you also need to import boat. Boat object, the instance of this class, represents our boat. And the next thing you should import, this is executor object. Executor object is used for start polling with our Telegram API. You don't have to worry about long polling or short polling right now because that's not an important thing for you. Because it's not so important thing for you right now. So far, we should focus our attention on creating the basic simple boat and process the basic comments. We definitely are going to take a look all other things in the next videos. Here you should create if name is equal to main. That's very, very important. All right, so let's get started and create our dispatcher object. Dispatcher object is the main handler that will check your updates from Telegram API and get these updates and process these updates. You can call this as a main handler if you wish. So in order to create this object, you just need to invoke your dispatcher class. Here you need to pass through your boat object. At first, you should create your boat object. Boat object is the instance of our boat class. As I've already mentioned, this is just represents our Telegram boat. Here, you need to pass your token. Once you pass your token, you just need to invoke your executor's method. This method is called start polling. You just need to type here your dispatcher object. After this, I'm going to create the first handler that will process our comments. And the first comment I need to process, this is just start comment. This is mine start comment. After this, you should declare your function that will process this comment. And you are going to implement your logic here. And typically, we should use here annotations. The implementation of this function matches the business logic of our application, how we process our updates, how we process our messages that we get from our client through our Telegram API, of course. So let's just answer our user, invoking a special method answer, and we just answer to our user with hello world message. We just type here hello world, and that's it. Let's give this a try and start our boat. To do this, you just need to type here python main.py. Once you did this, our boat has been started and you can just open telegram, type start comment, and you are gonna notice hello world text. That's all the functionality of our basic and the simplest boat. In the next videos, we're gonna take a look how to build more complex and more complicated boats. We're gonna consider such objects like filters, regular expressions, custom filters, middlewares, and project structure. How to use PostgreSQL database management system, how to implement Redis management system, and, and a lot of other things that we typically use in building and implementing our Telegram boats. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video a little bit helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.